Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will try to give some answers to the questions that we are getting on daily basis uh, about these two programs that we have introduced in JSS. One is a Guide Me to IT program and the second one is a Junior Network Engineer program. And usually this is a confusion, confused area for some of the people who are uh, either starting or some people who have already started. So there, of course, in the videos, we have uh, a pretty good explanation of what these programs are tailored for. But here in this video, I'm just going to kind of like, you know, not go into extreme details of the program and just answer the questions. So the first question is that, if I am brand new to IT, what program should I take, even if I love networking? You know, some, some people like heard from someone that, look, networking is in a great field or uh, whether it's uh, you just heard it or whether you already know that you love that career, still we tell them you should start with Guide Me to IT program. The reason for that is it's simple reason. This program starts with a CompTIA A+, and then MD100 and MD101 skills. So even in that, you are going to be touching uh, the basics of networking. But even before that, you have to understand some other things like, you know, professionalism or soft skills or, or just the hardware or how to connect computers or stuff like that. It's extremely basic stuff. So that's why most of the jobs that you're going to get out of this program, when you finish it, you're going to be going for those IT support positions and let's just talk about it a little bit more in detail. So when we say that you should start with that first program, Guide Me to IT program, you are a person who is just starting. That's why we put this 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 in here, that you are just starting, like you have no clue what happens in IT, like you know what kind of careers are out there uh, and what kind of work I have to do and you just need to start from scratch. So this is why that program is designed for you because if you start from that program, mentally you're going to start getting to know things. And when you start getting to know things, that, that's where then you feel like, okay, I want to go for something uh, you know, more advanced because that's where either you love it or someone told you that there's more money in it. So whatever is the case, you have to look at it this way. If you're just starting out, some things is you need to start with some basics so you understand technology slowly 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 and then people share things with you and then you may even choose to not go for something that you actually liked in the beginning because now you have a little more clarity so that's why we tell people that guide me to it program is your first program if you're on discord and if you haven't joined i want you if you are like new i want you to join this and then these programs are available here in very detail we have put from all the way from the beginning if you go to a channel watch the video the schedule the diagram of this program everything is available for you to register but this is where the confusion like you know will start for someone who already know these things now so there are people who actually haven't started it jobs but still they know a lot now that's where then you can make decisions because you are a little different than this person which is just starting right because when when we the, the reason we straight go to that when someone's starting we already know this this person is going to go come this going to this person is going to come across some stressful time if we tell them that yeah junior network admin is actually the 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 kind of like the major program for anyone to take because after that you can become a network admin you can become a network engineer you can become a sysadmin why because you that's that is the core networking it doesn't matter what you become you're going to need to know networking even if you become a cloud engineer that doesn't mean you're not going to do any networking even in cloud there's networking so the the idea of that is that if you are this person you already know the basics if i ask you do you know active directory you say yes i know active directory i can i know it at, at, at i know it at the basic level uh even if uh, i'm working as a network admin and they tell me to do something with active directory let's say i'm a, n a network engineer and they i'm working on a switch or i'm working on a router but there's something that i have to do in active directory to add an account because I have to do something with those networking devices. Maybe it's an access thing, whatever it is. But I, I just heard Active Directory in this job, right? In this already knowing thing. Uh, 
So if you know that basic level of Active Directory at that level, then you're not this person anymore, right? You, you, you're not just starting out then. You, you're here then. You already know it. So if I talk about, okay, uh, you know, let's just uh, give this machine a static IP address. Now, if you heard me this for the first time and you're like, what the hell did you just talk? Then you are this. You're just starting out. You have no clue. At, at this basic level, if I if I talked about that, and and you don't know that you're ex you're definitely here. You are in the guide me to IT program level. You need to get into that because then you're gonna need to know when I say give this machine a static IP address. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know what DN DN uh, DHCP means. We, you already know how to put a, a machine on a static IP. You already know these things, right? So with that, I think. Now, I assume if you know all of that stuff, you would know the basic commands like IP config, tracer, tracer out, whatever it is, like, you know, the basic ones. You're not here anymore and you're here. So if if you talk to yourself, this is where you need to make that decision, because for some people, even if they don't have a job, they're way more advanced than than just saying, OK, I want to go for a help desk position. And especially if you have finished the JSS learning path which is equivalent to someone working for six months in a company. And yes, you heard it right. Why do I claim that? The reason for that, for us to claim that, because the whole course just takes you four months to finish. And every single course is going to hit anything above uh, the help desk level. So even in our learning path, there's servers involved, there's Active Directory involved, there's deployments involved. So yes, it is going to go beyond that. And in help desk jobs, when you land a job, that's why it takes you so much time because you do repetitive work again and again. And, and people, people who spend a lot of years may not know this, but if someone teach you all these skills, you can totally bypass that. Now, usually we don't recommend that because I'm still going to say if you want to help, if you if you got a job in IT support and you spend six months in it, I think it's way better, way, way better for you to jump into something more advanced. Because here, like I said in the beginning, you may find something different because help this works with other roles, then you may change your mind because you may have made that mind from the start that I want to become a network engineer and you have never seen other people, right? Other, you have probably never worked the way help this works with other people. So that's the only reason I say that because it's just a little proper way. But you know, like I said, IT, trust me, someone's going to come right now and say, look, I became a network admin. I became a security admin. I became a cloud admin without doing help this. So anything impossible at IT, don't get discouraged. So if you're that person that you don't want to do this, you're not in just starting just starting level and you already know things, then yes, I would say, yeah, you can go for this. You can go for the junior network engineer program. Because if you look at the content of this program, what, what are we teaching? We're teaching network pro, network pro, which is network plus content. And then on top of that CCNA, and on top of that, you have live instructor for 16 weeks, bringing his skills to the table. And that's where, yes, you will then come across almost way more than the, the basics that you are in right now, the, the other course, like, for example, this one, because this is still a self-paced doing test out A plus MD 100, MD 101, and you're going to target help this position here. Yes, of course, when you go over all these this content for 16 weeks and after that, there's a career development because we have our own membership, which is a huge access as well. And then we give you a title. We give you internship hours because the day one you start with us in this training, you're already an intern, basically. Now, we don't try to sell this like that because it's just to us. It doesn't seem uh, you know, like a proper way to 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 say, oh, we're gonna we're gonna um, uh, turn this uh, program, which is a paid program, into internship. No, we don't do that. It is a paid program, and you you're still uh, gonna be paying for our services like live trainings. The 16 weeks, somebody has to spend three hours every week or two hours every week with you, and then you have to get all this equipment. Sorry, this access from us from test out. Then after that, the membership access, the career development access, the, the resume, work on it. So of course, this is a paid program. It's a lot of work from our end and it's a lot of work from your end so mentally you have to be then prepared for this this kind of work too you know this is where then you need to decide okay i'm, I'm gonna uh, i i want to straight go into the networking i want to basically go into more of an advanced positions then you gotta be here you gotta have some type of already started or already no type of knowledge 
like Active Directory basics, Windows basics, um, basics like you know adding a computer, adding, adding a computer to a domain, knowing the difference between a work group versus domain, uh, knowing that you know you can troubleshoot a normal Windows uh, machine, knowing that you can move around in a normal machines because if you're going to be working with a client, they're having networking issues. Most likely, they're also on the Windows machine, and you probably have to help them out using Putty or something else. So whatever it is, you know, you gotta be you gotta be at this level then if you want to take this program and and to be not feel like if instructors start going and talking about OSI model, which is still the basics, right? Even though you're gonna need you're gonna see that in a A plus level as well. But the instructor is not gonna think I am gonna talk about the OSI model or I'm gonna talk about the router or switches. An instructor will not think that you are just starting from scratch, like you have no clue how like the like the basics works like the ip config work right even though again in network course the instructor is going to go over a lot of these basics again right here so if you have that mindset to understand things quickly and you can know all of these things from other courses like we have some of the courses like active directory ticketing system windows and, and you you think that you know what i'm gonna try i'm gonna try here i'm gonna finish this program and if i get lucky i'll probably get a job and then all i have to do is to learn uh the content from jss so then if i'm missing something in this area i'm gonna cover it in my courses on jss then because those are real world courses right so that is another way you can actually achieve that because we want to make sure that our members know that we can we can we can help you with any situation, but you also have to take some decisions on your end and you have to sit down and, and really properly think that, am I gonna go towards some little more stressful jobs or in the beginning, cause it's definitely gonna be a little more, uh, you know, technical job, this one, then even this is technical, but still you're gonna have a lot of help over here than this one. Because when, when someone would say you're an engineer and you have a help disorder there, of course this help disorder is relying on you then and then yes, you may get some help from senior network engineers, but they wouldn't want to know that you know you you are here, right? You want to be here then. So I know it's a little complex thing. If you're still confused, if you are still confused, I want you to call our number. Go to our website, call our number, talk to me one on one. I want you to talk to you. I want to talk to you then one on one and find out that if you're ready or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I made some clarity. And if you have any questions, let us know. Come to the Discord, ask a questions over here, or just call the number and we'll help you out.